Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today was going to be a how-to video on these nail decorations that I did about three or four years ago. But things don't work out the way I want them to. So this will be a how to not do these nail decorations. So like I said, I had did these about three or four years ago to the DC Universe. Um, some characters over there and you know the Marvel movie is coming out that I'm so very excited to watch I decided to do nails and contribute to that and it just it just didn't work out the way that I wanted to at all so this is me making lemonade out of lemons so I'm going to show you the steps that I took and then I will tell you tips that I realized at the end of this whole process that you can take if you decide to do them. So here we go. So here I first start off with a piece of um, notebook paper and a clear, I don't know, like a sheet paper that I actually got from an old binder. It just has to be plastic so that the pods can actually peel from it. I drew my fingers as much as, po as best as possible making sure that it was too big instead of too small because you want to make sure that it fits your whole, your full nail. And since I was putting extensions on, I definitely had to make sure I did it a little bigger than usual. Now that I place the piece of plastic on top of the paper and tape it down so that when I'm actually painting on the plastic, it doesn't move. Now here I'm just, um, what's the name, putting down a base layer of the actual background of the design that I want. I already pre, you know, pre, I already figured out what design was going on which nail. So I'm just basically doing the background to that and then put the design on top. Now this is where I made a mistake at. I should have did two layers, but I think it was two to three layers and I only did one layer. So that that was that was mistake number one. So after the base coat is dried, I basically start putting on the design for each nail. I put in a little dot in the little corner and use my little skinny brushes and do some different types of designs. Uh, and the, once this part is done, I'll tell you what I did for each nail. Now I just wanted to tell you exactly who I put on my nails, starting from 
left to right, top to bottom, we have Captain America, Doctor Strange, Thanos, Stones, then we have Iron Man and just the Marvel symbol itself. Going to the bottom, we have Spider-Man, sorry it's blurry. Then we got Black Panther, the Guardians of the Galaxy, all of them together, um, Captain Marvel, and then the Avenger sign. Now it's actually time to start peeling off the stickers and placing them on my finger. So I use a wooden pick to slowly pry up the edges of the design and just go around trying not to make any holes. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't only did one layer of paint, so it made it very hard to take it off and it was ripping and it was just starting to get a mess. Now I'm actually fitting the sticker onto my nail, trying to align it up as much as possible, slowly pressing down from, I guess, the cuticle area to the nail tip. I use clear fingernail polish for the adhesive between my nail and the sticker. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I got the sticker to lay flat and adhere to my nail because this was a total fail and if I was going to do that I want to bring you a more quality video so yeah we're going to wait for next time. Now I used the wooden stick to start pressing down on the corners just to give it a smooth finish. Here you can see that my nail polish is already coming apart and this is when stuff just started getting really bad. I basically repeated the previous steps to all of my nails. In quick summary, the nail polish was ripping, the nail polish was falling off. Not falling off, but it wasn't in the place that I wanted it to be, so that was another problem. And here is when I'm trying to clean up my cuticles and just kind of clean up around the nail as much as possible. So this is what they look like after putting on all the stickers. And I'm going to try to fix them as much as possible. And I cannot stress as much as possible. So all I did to fix it is go back in with some of the nail colors and fill in areas that were spacious um, use the same colors of course and just try to make it look unified as much as possible after major surgery this is basically the end result like i said not too bad but it was not my vision at all so my three points of advice would be to use quality nail polish because as soon as I put on clear polish, the paint color started to smudge, messing up the design, and some of it wasn't fixable. The second point is to use more than two layers, more than one layer of nail polish to create a base because this will make it much easier to peel off in the end and apply it to your nails. And thirdly, don't be too hard on yourself on the design because nine times out of 10, it'll come out looking great. After watching my nails inevitable end, I basically just decided to take off the nail polish and just keep them. Sorry, my cat is making a ruckus downstairs or he is tormenting something, I don't know any hoozles. I decided to paint my nails white. So keep them white and um let's go that way. <laughs> I just took off all the nail polish. I was like I can't do it. It's not what I envisioned and I'm not walking around like this. So regardless. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm very upset as you can see. Uh, I'm kinda smiling but I am very upset. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something from it and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.